Hi everyone, we're going to uh, show you how to assemble your bird banner. Uh, it's the newest kit that we have to offer and um, I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. You will have three birds in your kit. Um, I'm going to show you how to, to make one of the birds and then you'll just do all three the same and then we'll assemble the entire thing at the end. <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is uh, decide which side of your paper you want to use and for this one I've done the other two <clears throat> in the green side, and so this one I'm going to do on this side. And all I'm going to do is lay it on here and figure out the best layout so I can get two. And I think it's going to be like that. Let me just take one of my other ones and test it. Yep, that should work. And then I'm just going to take my pen and trace around the outside of my bird. Okay, so now I have my bird. And you want to do the opposite side now. So you're going to flip it like this, okay, and figure out how it's going to fit on here. And it looks like that will be the best spot. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay, and now I have both my birds, one for each side. All right, I'm going to set that aside for a second. And now we're going to do the same thing on for the wings. And we're just going to find our spot on here. Now on this one, I'm going to do the striped side because on the, this one, I did the floral side. And I'm doing opposite sides of the paper, so I'm going to use the striped side. And I'm going to go around my, my wing, just like I did with the bird. And just draw it. And I'm not worried about the lines because we're going to be actually cutting inside the lines. Otherwise, it would be too big to uh, attach. Okay, so there's one. And now I need to take the other wing. Whoops. So I've got one wing drawn, as you see, and now I need to take the other wing and flip it because it's going to be the opposite direction and put that on here. And you can arrange your paper however you want so that you have extra left or, you know, however you feel comfortable doing that. And I think that I'm going to do it just like that. So I'm going to draw around on the outside again. Okay, and now I've got both my wings drawn on there. And now it's just a simple matter of cutting it out. So I'm cutting right inside the ink line. And what I tend to do is just, I don't go in the corners until after I have the outside part cut off. So I'm going to go around and I just cut in like that. Okay, and now I'm going to go make my turn and cut inside the line, remember. Whoops, I didn't get quite inside the line there. Okay, and now once I have that part cut out, then I go in and I do these. Now you do not have to do this this way. You can do it all in one shot. This just happens to be the easier way for me. And there's my wing part. Okay, so now I'm going to find my wing and I'm going to glue that on. And I'm not worried if it's perfect because we're going to be covering, we're going to be covering these edges with glitter. So just line it up as best you can. And if there's a little brown showing, that's quite all right. And then just take your glue and just go around the edge. I use my finger and I just rub it so that I make sure that it gets all the way to the edge. You could use a paintbrush or whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm just spreading it with my finger, just like that, okay? Then I'm going to take my paper 
line it up again, and lay it right on top. And then just push it down. Okay, and there's one wing done and out of the way. Now you will just repeat that same process for your other wing. Do the same thing for the birds that you drew. Cut those out, glue those the same way. And then when those are all complete, we will continue uh, and show you how to glitter the edges and attach your wings and that sort of thing. So we'll be right back. Okay, I forgot to mention um, that when you are putting your paper on your bird, you've got, once you do one side, go ahead and punch your hole while uh, you can still see it. Punch that, whoops, it didn't punch all the way through. Okay, and that way when you glue the, this side on, then you can come on this side and repunch the hole as well. My pieces are on, and so now we are going to begin a decorating process. And I'm um, going to show you on the wing, but you will take your glitter and line all the way around your bird on both sides, as well as on just the one side of your wing, because the other side is your where you're going to be gluing it on, so you don't have to worry about that, just around the outside of the wing. So I'll show you on the wing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using a fine line tip. But if you don't have that, just, you know, just squeeze a thin, as thin a line as you can around the edge. You don't want your glitter too thick. So I'm just putting a little on. And I tend to do this in sections so that my glue doesn't dry too quickly. Uh, when you're putting on a fine line like this, it tends to dry sometimes before you get uh, the glitter on. So I've done a little bit. I'm going to go around the curve here. Okay, and now I usually lift it up and check to make sure that I haven't missed any edges. And I can see one that I did. So I'm just going to add a little more glue there. Okay, and now I have a little tub that I use and my glitter bottle. And this comes in your kit. And I just shake it on. Okay, and shake it back off. Okay. And then any little stray ones like that, use your finger, and there we go. And we're just going to go all the way around the edge like that. Okay, and there you see we have the glitter all the way around the edge of the wing. Now you're going to repeat that on the other wing on both sides of your bird, and then we can continue to decorate. Now I have left the other one of the other birds um, undecorated so that we could do that together and we wouldn't have to wait for it to dry. Now, oh, I made a big mess. Use a funnel; it works better. And I have one sitting here. I don't know why I didn't do that. Because, you know, sometimes I get in a hurry. So use your funnel and dump your glitter back in. Okay, so rather than wait for those to the glitter to dry, we're going to go ahead and decorate this one that I already had finished. And what we're going to do is start out with our lace. And you're going to take your yard of lace and cut it into six-inch pieces. Okay, and then you're going to attach it on this rear part back here. So you want to find your good side and then attach it the long way like this so that when you start uh, pleating, you'll have a nice finished area there. So use your long edge along the tip of the wing on that part. Okay. And for this, I'm going to use hot glue because it goes faster. And I'm just going to put a line of glue right along the edge there and lay my lace in it and just push that down in there. Okay, and then I like to take the other side 
and figure out where I want it to go. So it's going to go about like that. And I'm going to attach it, I'm going to bunch it and attach it right in that corner. Okay, so I'm going to bunch it together. Put a little glue on so it'll hold it. And then I'm going to attach that right there, right at that wing point. Sorry, I'm on a shot right at that wing point, right where the curve begins. Okay, so on this side now you see what I have. And that's just going to add to the feather look. And now we can just start pleating. Okay, and you just pleat it however you like it. About like that works for me. And I'm just putting glue on the pleats and holding it down for a second. Okay, now I'm just going to go back and tack down anything that looks loose. And there we have an extra ruffle on our wing now. All right, so now we're going to take our wing and lay it on here. And you want this point to point towards this point. So about like that. Okay, so we're just going to put glue all over the back of our wing. Again, line it up. You should have a good idea from when you just did it, practicing, to about where you need it. Okay, we're going to press that down. And the only thing left to do on this side, we, we'll have to put the wing on the other side as well, but the only thing left is to put the eye on. So just a little bit of hot glue on the back of that. And I like to put it so that there's a, there's a little point. I like to put that so it points backwards. And there you go. So you would just turn it over and put your other wing on and that would be complete. Okay, so we're gonna make two tassels now for um, either midway or the ends, whichever you choose. And these will come to you cut in six inch pieces. So you'll have one ivory and one white for each ring, okay? Then you have uh, a colored seam binding that will match whichever kit you get. You'll cut that in half and then cut it in half again. There's two for that one. And then we'll have two for that one. Okay, you'll also get four strips of the chalk white. Okay, so you're gonna cut those in half. All right, and now we can start assembling. So all we need to do is take our pieces and lay them in your hand about how you think you want them. Okay, so I'm going to do mine about like that. And I'm just going to gather it in the center. And it doesn't even have to be, whoops, one of my pieces fell out. doesn't even have to be exactly even because these are tassels. If you want it to be even, even out your ends. If you don't care, then just do what I'm doing and just grab it in the middle. Okay, and now just thread it through your ring. Okay, just like that. All right. Now, you should have, I put three of the white on there, and I have one left. And I'm just going to use that to tie this around here to make the uh, tassel attached to the, stay attached to the ring. Okay, and I'm just going to pull it tight. Adjust anything that I want adjusted. And now I can tie that into a knot. And then just play with it until you get your pieces looking the way you want it to look. Okay, 
and there's our tassel. So you would just repeat that with the other one. And then it's just a matter of attaching it to our, uh, our twine. Okay, so all of our pieces are done. And um, this is what you have left to work with. Now I want to tell you that um, I have used one jar of glitter and I still have a little bit left, as you can see. Not much. It's probably, you know, less than a, less than a quarter of the bottle. Um, you have been provided with two jars of the glitter in your kits because I did mine with a fine line and after I got done the, with the very first one, which I showed you at the beginning, um, I decided that you might need a second bottle in case your lines are thicker and I used my fine line top so that that gave me a, a thinner line and so if you're using a thicker um, top on your glue you may need a second bottle of glitter so I went ahead and included that in there but just so you know if you're using the fine line you will have uh, plenty left and a whole nother bottle besides that is the only extra that I gave you in your kit and the reason why I didn't do extras is because I wanted this to be affordable for everyone and um, when you start adding extras you've got to raise the price up into the you know twenty dollar range and I really didn't want to do that so I made this very simple uh, it makes one set you have a little bit of paper extra at the end to like do punches of butterflies or you know what have you but basically everything that you get in your kit you're going to use with the exception of the one bottle of glitter Okay, so it's time to assemble and um, I've taken the cord that you were provided and in the first one, I did it very long. Um, I left the, the, the pieces whole and I just did two strands. On this one, I cut them in half. So I now have four strands, as you can see, four strands, okay? And what I'm going to do is find the center. Okay, and that looks about right, right there. And then I'm going to take my one bird that's different. Let me set these over to the side for right now. And that's going to be my center bird. So I'm just going to slide my cords through the hole that I've punched. Okay, I've pulled them through. And now um, if you had held on to it, you would have your center mark. I didn't. I had to stop for a second. So I'm just finding my center mark again. And I'm just going to tie a square knot. And if you don't know how to tie a square knot, I will teach you right now. You go right over left. Okay, so put your cords right over left and put the left side through. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down so I can do this and pull. Now, you could stop right there and that would be perfectly secure, but like I said, I'm going to do the square knot. So I'm going to go now, I've gone, I went right over left first, and so now I'm going to go left over right and put the right ones through. And pull. And then you have a perfect square knot. Okay, and that's how you do that. So now we're going to put on the next one. And to do that, I'm going to lay this out and I'm going to figure out about where I want my bird. Okay. And so I'm going to do it about right there. All right. So I need to mark that with my fingers. Put my cords through on this bird. Sorry, it's easiest if you do the soft cords first, by the way. Pull those through and then put my thicker ones, my stiffer cords through. And then pull to that point that we had held on to. Okay, and now I'm going to do the square knot on that, that. So I'm going to go left over right. Okay, 
Okay, so to get your knot on this side, it's a little bit trickier. You're gonna go left over right, like this, and this bird's gonna come up in between your loop. So you're gonna have to kinda hang on to this end, hang on to this end where your tails are, and pull this through. Okay, and once you've got that through, then you can pull that knot. Okay, and there we have another square knot. Okay, so now our birds are looking like this. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to pull this and figure out approximately how far do we want that bird. Make sure your cords are straight. And that looks about right, right there. So I'm going to hang on to the cord again, right here. Put my soft cords through first. And now you do not have to do a square knot. Keep that in mind that you can just do a regular knot and then you wouldn't have to monkey with putting this through. I just think it lays better if it's got a square knot but it's totally up to you. You could also use jump rings, anything like that to attach these. Okay, now I had to let go of mine in order to get my uh, second set of cords through. And you may have to do that too. So then if that happens, you just line it back up Make sure all your cords are straight and pulled taut. Okay, and that looks about right. So I'm going to make my knot right there. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so I can do this right. We're going to do right over left. and then left over right. And again, if you want to monkey with this, you can, but you do not have to. I'm just gonna pull my birds through. And I can pull this tight and I'll have my square knot. And there we go. Okay, now you can see as I've worked, some of my glitter has come off, and that's normal. Okay, I'm just getting this back in order now. All right, so now I have my three birds on my cord. And now I'm going to take my, these you could either hang here like we did on the other one, and it will just be a shorter version of the first one we did. Or on this particular one, I'm going to use those on the end. So I'm just going to take my cord and knot it around my, around my uh, jump ring. And that will be where I hang it from this time. So that will hang off to the end like that. Okay, and then you can trim these or you can leave them, whatever you want to do, your little tails. And this one I don't have quite the same length. I'm going to adjust it. And there we go. And you have your completed banner. Okay. So I will take some still pictures and put them at the end. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and that you will purchase the kit for yourself. It comes in four different colors. And remember, I did my best to keep it affordable. So there are not a lot of extras, but it is a very fun project.
Have a great day and we'll see you next time.